Hi there, if you're watching this video right now on July 12th or 13th, 2022, you are in luck because it is currently Prime Day. If you don't know what Prime Day is, it's Amazon's biggest sale of the entire year, usually bigger than Black Friday. They have a ton of sales happening right now across all of Amazon, but the deals that I'm most interested in are the Kindle deals, and they have some crazy discounts happening right now. I bought my first Kindle two years ago around this time of the year, and it completely changed my life. If you're getting one for the first time, I really hope buying a Kindle will do the same thing for you. One quick thing to note, if you are participating in Prime Day this year and buying stuff on Amazon, whether it's a Kindle or some new books, I want to recommend checking out my book that I just published last month called Supercharger Reading. It's a really short book. You can finish the whole thing in less than one hour. It'll give you a rundown the philosophy of using a Kindle to read more books and remember the things you read. In just one month, the book has obtained over 50 reviews from people around the world with very positive reviews. So I'm really grateful that the book is actually helping people. Link down below if you wanna check that out. All right, let's actually talk about the Prime Day Kindle sales that are currently happening. The first one is about the Kindle Basic model. Now this device is the entry-level Kindle. It's the most affordable Kindle you can get. And the cool thing about it is all the reading and note-taking functionality is exactly the same as the higher end Kindles. I really think this device is great for anyone who doesn't read too often but still wants that functionality of owning a dedicated Kindle device. It has all the functionality that you need but it is missing out on some really nice to have features. The three main drawbacks I would say about the Kindle Basic is a lower resolution screen, no warm light temperature control, as well as a lower and cheaper build quality of the device itself. With that being said though, this is definitely the cheapest Kindle you can get with the heaviest discount right now. Normally the Kindle Basic will run you 90 US dollars, but right now it is 50% off available for 45 US dollars, which is a really, really big discount as you can see. The one thing I will say about this deal is the Kindle Basic is overdue now for a refresh. It has been on the market, this exact model, for a few years and they are in dire need of upgrading it. I have a theory that they'll be updating this device later this year, which is why they put such a heavy discount on the current model to encourage people to buy it. So keep that in mind, this is all speculation, but if you're in the market for a Kindle Basic and you can wait a little longer, there is a chance they may refresh it in a few months. All right, next up we have the Kindle Paperwhite. This device is definitely my favorite Kindle right now because it's the newest one. It was just refreshed and released late last year in 2021. And just for a little bit more money, you get a way better deal in terms of value for the price you're paying compared to the Kindle Basic. The four main benefits of the paperweight compared to the basic is the warm light temperature control, higher screen resolution, better build quality, as well as waterproofing. The first one regarding warm light control, this is really, really helpful for reading books at night. It's just such a more natural looking display. It's like your phone having that screen display turned that orange color at night. It just makes a subtle difference. But on a Kindle especially, that orange tint makes your Kindle screen look more like a book page, which is really important for that natural feeling. And I really, really enjoy it. The other important thing is the higher resolution screen. The Kindle Paperwhite has a 300 PPI resolution compared to the 167 PPI on the Kindle Basic, almost double the screen resolution, and that is a big deal for a device that is dedicated for reading books. In terms of build quality, the Kindle Paperwhite is definitely a nicer device to hold compared to the Kindle Basic. It uses a much better quality plastic. You also have a nice glass front screen, whereas the Kindle Basic does not have that. And I do say that the device gets fingerprints quite easily on the back especially but putting that aside it is much nicer and much more premium than the Kindle Basic. Lastly the waterproofing feature is actually a bit unique as well. Most people that I know don't really read on the beach or in the bathtub. If you do that's great waterproofing is obviously really important for that but the real reason waterproofing is important for most people is for accidental spills with water or any other drinks while you're reading on your Kindle. That's actually happened to me a couple times where a few drops of water have spilled on my Kindle by mistake and having that waterproofing is a really great peace of mind. Now the retail price of the Kindle Paperwhite is $139. Right now on Prime Day is 30% off, available for $95. Now, even though this is my favorite Kindle to recommend, this specific Kindle deal is not the one that I wanna recommend out of all the deals available today. There is a deal better than this one right now. The deal that I wanna recommend is actually the next one up over here, which is the Kindle Paperwhite 
my kids edition, this is the same exact Kindle I was just talking about, but in the kids edition, don't be fooled by the name. Adults can use this Kindle as well. Just turn off the kids features and you have a normal Kindle Paperwhite, but you get a lot more value for the bundle you're paying for. The kids edition comes with a few very important benefits. The first one is this model actually has no lock screen ads attached to the bundle, which is actually something that costs $20 extra on the normal Kindle Paperwhite. So with this bundle deal, the kids edition, this is built into the price, which is a huge value add because the lock screen ads in my opinion are the most annoying thing that Amazon has on their Kindle. I just like having a plain lock screen. I don't want to be bombarded with book recommendations or Alexa ads. So I definitely recommend removing lock screen ads, but I don't recommend paying for it. Just get the bundle instead. Next, also with the kids edition, you get a free case that's included. This is a huge deal because normally the case by itself will cost around 30 bucks. With the kids edition, you can choose which case you want. There's a few fun kids designs you can choose from, but if you want, there's also a plain black option as well, which is great for most people. And this is included again in the bundle, which normally costs a lot more money by itself. The lock screen ads in the free case by themselves are a huge value add, but you actually get two more things on top of that. Next one is an additional year of warranty. Normally your Kindle Paperwhite only has one year of warranty. With the Kindle Paperwhite Kids Edition, they add an additional year on top of that. So you get two years of warranty in case anything goes wrong with your Kindle, you can call Amazon and they'll have that extra warranty available for you. And the last benefit is you also get one year of the kids subscription from Amazon for kids books and things like that. Obviously, I'm not a kid, I don't really need those, so I just canceled that subscription right away after activating my Kindle Paperwhite Kids model, and you can do that too. You don't have to have that, but it is included for one year if you want it. Now, normally this Kids Edition bundle will cost $159 to get. Today, it is on sale for $105, which is just $10 more than the regular Kindle Paperwhite I was talking before. It's the same exact Kindle, but for $10 more, you get so much more value, which is really hard to beat. This is definitely the best Kindle deal that you can get right now on Prime Day. I actually have a whole video that talks about the kids model and all the benefits that come with it. Link for that video on the screen right now if you wanna watch that too. The next deal I wanna talk about is for the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. Again, this is the same thing as the regular Kindle Paperwhite, but with a few extra bells and whistles. The first benefit of the Signature Edition compared to the regular Kindle Paperwhite is wireless charging. Now, wireless charging does sound pretty cool at first, but in reality, I don't think it's a feature that most people will need. Kindles have weeks of battery in them. You don't have to charge it very often. And the Kindle Paperwhite already has USB-C as a standard configuration. So USB-C is a very convenient charger. You probably already have a few of those laying around your home. So wireless charging at the end of the day is very unnecessary for a Kindle. But hey, if you wanna get one and you also wanna get a wireless charger and just keep your Kindle charging all the time while you're not using it, this could be a great feature for you. The next benefit of the Signature Edition is more storage. You get 32 gigs of storage compared to eight gigs on the normal Kindle. And I really don't think this is worth it. Eight gigabytes of storage is plenty of space for thousands of books. The only time where you need more than that is if you're planning to store a ton of audio books on your Kindle. I actually have a whole video talking about this topic of storage on Kindles. Link for that on the screen right now if you wanna learn more about that. The next benefit of the Signature Edition is the ambient light sensor. Now this is a feature that is nice to have. It'll automatically adjust your screen brightness for you. If you go inside, outside, different rooms, it'll automatically adjust the screen brightness for you. But again, most people probably don't need this. If you just read in the same place every single day, this feature is completely irrelevant to you. So unless you're traveling a lot and you really need that automatic brightness adjustment, this feature probably won't be very useful. Now, lastly, the best perk is the fact that you don't get lock screen ads on the signature model, which is really nice. Like I said before, it costs 20 bucks extra to remove those ads usually. So that is actually where most of your money is going when you're paying for the upgrade between the regular Kindle Paperwhite and the signature model. Then all the other features I just talked about are kind of a bit of a bonus on top of the fact that you get no lock screen ads. Normally this device will cost you 189 US dollars. Right now it's on sale for $135, which is really not that bad 
bad at all. So if you have the money and you want to splurge a little bit, this is definitely the best time to buy a Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. The next Kindle deal I want to talk about is for the Kindle Oasis. Now this device was the first Kindle that I bought a couple years ago. It was my favorite Kindle for a long time. But right now, I personally don't think I want to recommend this to most people. Let me explain why. Firstly, the Kindle Paperwhite Signature model that we just finished talking about actually has newer and better features than the Kindle Oasis. The new Kindle Paperwhite just came out last year, whereas the Oasis has been on the market now for three years, so it is a bit outdated and lagging behind in terms of features. You don't get wireless charging, and you also don't get USB-C. Another major thing that you're missing out on is the page turn animations. This is something that's exclusive to the Kindle Paperwhite. Because that device is so new, they have a newer technology being used for the screen. The Kindle Oasis has the same screen resolution, but the technology being used is a bit older, so it doesn't support animations. And that's actually a pretty big sign that the Oasis is not very future-proof compared to the Kindle Paperwhite. The main benefit of getting the Oasis, though, are the page turn buttons, the physical buttons for turning pages, which is really nice. And also, you're getting a very premium ergonomic design, which is super nice to hold. The whole device is made of this premium aluminum metal. It just feels really nice, like a high piece of tech, and I really do enjoy it, but it's really up to you if you think it's worth the extra money that you're paying to get those two main benefits for page turn buttons and a nicer quality build. The Oasis does come in a few different options in terms of color and storage capacity, but normally the base model will cost you $249. Today it is on sale for $175. If you want to get it, this is probably the best deal you're going to get for the Oasis. Now just like the Kindle Basic, I really do think the Oasis is up for a refresh very, very soon. I think later this year we might see a refreshed Kindle Oasis, or my other theory is they may completely remove the Oasis and discontinue it and replace it with something else. So this device, like the Kindle Basic, is a bit of a risk to buy right now. But if you're happy with the current features of the device, this deal is definitely hard to beat. So use your judgment when buying this device. There's actually one more model of the Kindle Oasis that I didn't mention yet, and that's the Kindle Oasis cellular model. There is no other cellular model available for any other Kindle, so this is actually very unique. It might be one of the only reasons why buying a Kindle Oasis is worth it. If you live in an area with bad Wi-Fi connection, or you travel a lot and you wanna have access to syncing and downloading books no matter where you are, the cellular model is a great way to always be connected. There's actually no additional cost every month or anything like that. It's a free cellular connection once you pay the upfront cost for the Kindle Oasis. This is definitely the most expensive Kindle you can buy and it costs retail $349, but if you wanna buy it on Prime Day today, they're offering it for $259, which again is a very big discount. So if you're in the market, I definitely suggest getting it now while it's on sale. In terms of other things that are currently on sale that are Kindle related, all the cases and accessories for your Kindle are currently on sale. Anything made by Amazon is on discount right now, usually about 25% off. The best one that I think is worth checking out is the Cork case, which is actually normally retailing for 50 bucks. Right now it's about $35, so that's a great deal. And they have other things like the fabric case, so these are really good cases too. So if you want an Amazon branded case, they're all on sale right now, definitely check those out too. I hope you found this video useful. If you're buying a Kindle for the first time and you wanna learn more about how to use it, I also have a full tutorial video going through every single feature you'll ever have to know about regarding Kindles. Link for that video on the screen right now. I hope you find that useful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.